Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So today is actually Monday. Um, we were gone over the weekend. We visited my parents, which was really nice because really I feel like we haven't seen them since the holidays. Like we visited once for like a few hours um, a few weeks ago, but like, yeah, I was like, no, we really need to visit. Um, so we stayed the entire weekend and it was really nice. Liam really enjoyed it. Um, Saturday, Liam and I actually went to see a movie with friends of mine and it was fun. Um, we saw Clifford. I never heard of it. I didn't know they like remade it or whatever, but it was really good. I'll pop it right here. Check it out if you have kids because I'm sure they'll love it. It was really cute and yeah, definitely a good movie. I probably buy it if i can find it um because it's definitely something i'm like i want to rewatch that um so yeah william and i went to see a movie um and then after that we had mcdonald's and then he was like bugging me to go to target but i was like there's no target up here so we just went to tj maxx and then after that we just went home to my parents and literally just relaxed and played and all of that um for the rest of the day and the next day too we just relaxed and played it was it was very nice to kind of like log off you know what i mean like i was barely online to be honest like i posted or i would post in the morning and that would be it so it was really nice to finally like relax um anyways yeah today is monday um for today's vlog i'm ultimately just planning on sharing with you the coffee bar i decorated it last week and a lot of you really wanted to see it so i will be um inserting that clip towards the end of this video um right now i have things going i have rice here and then i have hard-boiled eggs going and then i'm making gnilling um tonight tom is gonna make lobsters i think lobster tails or something like that because we got some yesterday for like such a good deal um so yeah oh also in this video i want to share with you an unboxing um so we'll unbox that like after lunch um i just need to focus on what the things here because they're almost done um liam is in the tub can you see him there's his little head. So he's in the bath. Um, he's almost done in there too. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to get all our lunch ready and then we'll do like an unboxing and all of that. All right, check in with you guys later. All right, we're done with lunch. I actually did chores around the house and Liam's actually asleep. So that's great. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to do a quick unboxing with you. This is, you can see, it's from Caudalie. I'm so excited. They've been sending so many things lately. Um, I've gotten a chance to use the eye cream, and it's really good. So I can't wait to, like, use that for an entire month and, like, see a difference. Because I think it's only been three days since I used it. So we have to give it more time. But I am enjoying using it. Okay, anyways, we got this this time. Ooh, vegan body butter, which is great because I have really dry skin in the winter. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, let's see what we have here. So this is the 24-hour long-lasting repair for dry, distress, and itchy skin, which is perfect. Um, it's been so dry here lately that I've been really itching. Like, you know when you're like about to go to bed and you're just laying there and all you can think about is oh my god my legs are so itchy this i hope will help so we have here the dry damage itchy um body butter i'm pretty sure that's that one it looks like this and then this is the hand and nail repair repairing cream oh my goodness i i'm gonna use this okay so I have eczema and it really doesn't help when it's like super dry and winter out. Um, this, I don't know if you can see that, it's so dry that it's cracked. You see that? And also I've been eating too much like chicken and eggs and seafood that my eczema flared. Um, my hand, I don't know if you guys can see, there's literally dots on my hands right here. 
Um, so whenever I eat too much of certain foods, um, my eczema flares up. And then when it's dry, it really doesn't help because my skin gets even more itchy and it's just it's awful. Anyways, I'm excited. This is supposed to be for hands and nails. Let's try it out. Vino Therapist. Nourishes, repairs, and protects. It is vegan and 98% ingredients are natural. Oh my gosh. I'm really excited. Okay, let's try it out. So it looks like. I really like the packaging. Um, it's like matte. Feels buttery. Okay. I like it. It does not feel sticky, which is good. I hate lotions that feel sticky. Like it feels like I have to wash my hands afterwards. I like this. This kind of reminds me of L'Occitane. It like it's sinking to my skin very well. I'm just trying to make sure I get every single like finger, especially on my knuckles, especially this one. It's so dry. Yes. Oh, I like it. Yeah, it's not sticky. I can feel it drying already, which is good because I don't want to sit there and like, you know, wait for it to dry for too long. Also, don't want it to feel sticky. My ring is all hazy now. I don't like that. Okay. Oh, I like this so far. I might keep this in my bag, um, in my purse. I really, I like this. And this is just... A brush for exfoliating in the shower I'm guessing so that's exciting um, but yeah I will link all of this below so this one retails for I believe this is yeah the body butter retails for $34 and then this cream is only 15 that's awesome this is definitely something I'm gonna give a go I'll use it continuously this week and yeah hopefully it helps with my Hands, my goodness. So yeah, I'll link it below. Anyways, I feel like that is it. I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys the coffee bar. I absolutely love it. I am pretty sure I mentioned it already um, before that I'm not huge on Valentine's Day decor. So every time I would make coffee, I would cringe at what I see and like the decor. I just didn't love it. So... I was like, all right, it's almost March. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to decorate for Easter. And oh my gosh, I love how um, my coffee bar turned out. So anyways, let's go ahead and do that. And I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Hi loves. So I'm going to be decorating my coffee bar today. So this is the Valentine's Day. And here are all of my um, Easter decor. And this Easter decor is definitely going to stay through springtime. Um, I just love Easter decor a lot. So anyways, let me just kind of go through what we have here because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions. Um, so these are actually salt and pepper shakers. I got these, I believe, TJ Maxx last year. And it's just super cute and had to have it. And it matches my little canister. Um, I believe I found this at either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. The little bunny there is a little cricket, which kind of bothers me. I'm going to have my husband try to fix that, but um, it's kind of always been like that, and it's not something you can, like, unscrew to fix, so I don't know if that can even be fixed, but this was, like, the only one that I saw there that wasn't too bad. The other one was really crooked, um, but, yeah, it's just, like, a glass canister, and this is where I'm going to put my coffee pods. So I've had that for a few years, maybe a year, two, I don't know, but... Something I will be reusing. Um, this is something new from this year. Um, this is from Target Dollar Spot. It was $3. Super cute. This one, also something new from this year. Um, I got this from TJ Maxx and I believe it was like $5.99. And I really like the silver because it just goes with all the other things that I have, you know. Um, here's another thing that I got 
when I found this one. So either last year or the year before. But I actually saw this again this year at my local TJ Maxx. Um, so yeah, this was from Marshalls when I found it last and it was $5.99 and I saw there was a bigger one too at the TJ Maxx but I love this to put my little spoons in and then these eggs right here were from Pier 1 years ago and you buy them separately and I believe like when I got it at Pier 1 they only had three left so that's that um let's see this is from target dollar spot set of two cute little bunnies three dollars for two which i think is awesome and they're super tiny you can see they're like the same size as that so it's just gonna be a coffee bar type of decor because it's the perfect size um this i think i showed you guys this was from tj maxx this year it was $14.99 and there's 15 eggs in there I got this sign from Etsy. I guess that that's super cute. Other side look, just looks like that. I might use that today or this time around. I'm not sure. Um, this is a sign that I got from TJ Maxx. And it was $3.99. Really cute. There was another one, I think. Something about button, bunnies, I think. I don't remember. Or Easter. But I went with the carrot patch just to be a little different. Um, I got this is like a set of carrots from TJ Maxx a few years ago too and I just tied three together this is the garland that I used last year I think I might use this this year it's just a bunch of carrots um, I don't remember how much this was uh, maybe let's see how much this $12.99 yeah um, so just super cute I used this one last year but look what I have I also have this I was supposed to return this last year because I ended up using the carrot ones, but I ended up keeping it just because I think it's super cute with the bunnies and the green. But this one was $12.99, so I'm going to put both up this time around for the video, and then leave in the comments below which one you like better with my little setup, okay? And you can help me decide, but yeah, I love both. Again, last year I used the carrot ones. Maybe this year I'll use this one, but... That might be a little too much bunnies, you know? So we'll see. You guys can just let me know in the comments. So anyways, let's go ahead and take everything off. Oh, I also have this tree that I got, by the way, um, from Target Dollar Spot. I think it's gonna go great with all of this Easter decor. So I just have it there. We'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, okay. the bunny garland I don't think I'm in love with it and I really don't want to cut off like the extra two over here because then it'll just be a waste so I think I'm gonna save this for something else but again let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are okay so this is the carrot one and I think this one's the winner again let me know in the comments below though um, but yeah this one I really like I remember I was able to adjust those carrots in place so I didn't have to like cut any off or anything like that like they just slide and it's perfect so I love this one and I think it goes well with my sign that says carrot patch you know 
so yeah adds a little bit more color too right let me know your thoughts i think this is super cute absolutely love this so much more than my valentine's day setup even though okay i did really like my valentine's day setup especially compared to last year's valentine's day setup but it's just easter just speaks to me i just i just love this entire vibe like this makes me really happy so anyways that is it for my little coffee bar she is ready for Easter. I'm so happy with this. Ah, love it. <laughs> Alright, so before I end this vlog, I wanted to show you this since I just got this like yesterday. And this is just kitchen towels. So I'm gonna put one here by the coffee bar and then the other one by the stove. Um, it took me a while to find one that I actually liked. Um, as you see, I do have a carrot patch signs so i wanted something with carrots but i didn't want it to look too cartoony i wanted i don't know like something cute and simple so i found this one at tj maxx and i think it's super cute i really like this material as well it kind of has that sack cotton sack type of material i find that these kinds of material or fabric um does a better job on soaking up water so when I saw this, I'm like, love it. I still do need to wash it though before I put it here in the kitchen, but just thought I would share it with you guys. It is by Martha Stewart and it was only $6.99. There was another cute one that I really, really liked, but um, it was like a pack of, I think six, and I only really liked one pattern out of it and it was like $12. So yeah, anyways, I just opted out for this one since I do love this pattern and you get two so that's that so that is it for this vlog i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for being here please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you on thursday bye